Ah, oh, there you are. A very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on the big one. Facebook Live, the one everyone's talking about and the one everyone is watching. I hope you've had an amazing day with the football today. And as I say, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Scotty McClure Show. This is the one everyone's talking about. This is the one everyone is watching. Sunday night, of course, nothing gets past me, as you well know. And we have one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment, not for just one nation, but for the whole world. Live with me, Scotty McClure. So much to talk about tonight. We have Donald Trump's visit to the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. That was a biggie, Donald Trump's visit to Scotland. And um, I had hoped you might want to have a chat to me about the state of the UK media, but uh, we haven't managed that so far. He's obviously a busy man, and uh, therefore you and I could chit-chat about the state of the UK media ourselves. Hope oh, you've had a good weekend. Dan Ingalls there, Dinky Doo, Thomas Hamilton. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, I say. Now then, we have so much to get through tonight. Sid Devise watching. Gordon Drysdale, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. And of course, the world's top broadcaster without any shadow of doubt. And perhaps one of the world's most Humble men. So there you are. Humility is a great thing, I always say. Just because you're at the top of your game, just because you're at the top of your profession, that doesn't mean that you can't have a touch of humility. Dinky doo la. Uh, Sammy Stewart says dinky doo, dinky doo to you, Sally. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Karmic Manchester, Sharice has joined us. Lovely to have you with us. John Hodgson, one of the country's top broadcasters and um, one of the mainstays of Great Yorkshire Radio is watching. John Hodgson, dinky do to you. Uh, Gary Heaps, dinky do. Sharice says she's with us 100%. Bring back InVision continuity announcements, says Gary Meeklum. Yes, I used to do a lot of those myself. You might even remember me popping up and saying hi on a Sunday night round about this time. Hello, Dinky Doo. Hi, Scotty. Please do not swear in your live. Uh, his Saron Nu in Turkey. We don't swear and we don't appreciate any swearers. I have just uh, blanked, completely dumped swearers this week. Uh, you, uh, we like a media joke. We need more like you, Scotty McClue. How are you tonight? Uh, the wife says hello. She's doing the high dusting, says Charles McLaughlin. So she should. I'll tell you. Keep the place nice and fresh. Great to see you, Scotty. Just sharing. Yes, get sharing, guys, all the time. Any news on the radio show, Scotty, says Thomas Hamilton. It'll be about another month or two before we get back because the big wigs, the big wigs, the decision makers, are on their holly bags at the moment, but I am in touch at the very highest level. Gordon Roddick, one of the world's top broadcasters, is watching. A man who was with us for a long, long time and who actually set the standard for broadcasting in Scotland. So there you are. Good evening from East School Bride, TOA, James Bauer. Please don't think I haven't forgotten you. And, um, or please don't think I have forgotten you. Uh, I hope you didn't find my response cut. It certainly wasn't meant to be. Uh, it'll be about another month or so. And then perhaps you and I can uh, do a bit of discussion and see what is what about uh, an evening with Scotty McClue. Cool pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Stop fibbing. She makes you do it, says Savvy Stewart. Charlie McClatchy. Lol, dinky do, Charlie. Lovely to have you with us. No sweating, please, says Sharice. I shan't. If there's any sweating, I'll be doing a bit of this. Disappearing. Hanging. A quick... White Doon. And then we're back with, you will see, Charles McLaughlin is watching David Lafferty. How are you, Dinky Doo? Scotty McClue just for you Sunday night, as I say. I hope you've enjoyed the football. Nice uh, tie, pal. Thank you very much. Sweating and swearing. No sweating or swearing. Margaret Primrose, Dinky Doo. Cool, Scotty. All is good, sir. All is good, James. Never a problem. And we'll see what's what. There might be something. You might feel there's not anything. Not a problem. I Either way. 
And mental health awareness, good to talk, says Sammy Stewart. Absolutely, Sammy. Mental health is not a result of weakness. It's a result of staying strong for far too long. Good evening for Val. Uh, evening, Scotty. How are you? Can you tell my wife, Sharon Hunter? I love her very much, Sharon Hunter. Your husband loves you. Hello, Scotty. You're still in the hut. No phone lines. No, no, I'm at an undisclosed location tonight. And I cannot disclose my location. So there you are. I'm involved in some very, very important work. Uh, Colin McMillan's watching. Bertha King Patton, a very fine lady. She's watching. And Dinky Doo, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Now, a little bit of housekeeping. Thank you to everyone who's popped something into PayPal. It helps to grow the show. Who would have thought a year ago, two and a half million people would have seen the Scotty McClue pop-ups on Facebook Live? So they are fantastic. Aha, a damp clute. Personal hygiene, my personal hygiene is gorgeous. You could take your dinner off me. And um, that's very true. Mental health is big, says Sharish. Absolutely. Dinky do, Scotty, says Stephen Nunnally. There's a man who's been with me for about 25 years. Fantastic. Loving the bonnet, says Harry Fitzsimmons. Harry, I wouldn't go out without it. It would be rude to appear in front of everybody in the world on Facebook Live without my bonnet. Hello. Good evening from Dubai. It's rather hot here, says Craig Putty. I know I was talking to people in Dubai today. Anne Marie says, Hi, Scotty. Defo Scotty is still in the bunker. Oh, we're in the bunker and liable to be here for some time. Guys, get sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing. Come on. I want these figures up. I want these up into the hundreds. So there you are. 30 live right now. About 6,000 of you saw last week's efforts. So let's get these figures up and up and up and up. There's no reason why there shouldn't be a couple of hundred people watching live right now. That's up to you, not me. I'm providing quality merchandise. You guys need to get out there and sell it. Uh, can you give us some snow, Scotty? Says Sharice. No, I, I can't magic some snow. I could pat my head and it would look like snow. So there we are. Uh, Hunter George, did you do it to you? Scotty McClure is watching you tonight. So remember, at this time, it's your show and I am just the catalyst. Uh, Andy, you stop shaping. You're in the loo, Scotty. No, no, Susan Forrest. Says, hi, Scotty from Lancashire, and sends me a lovely kiss. Mwah. Hi, Susan Forrest from Lancashire. Sounds like you're in the Doug box. There we are, the Doug hoose, more like it. Um, a bit of a damp clout out the freezer. Bra for a white dune. No, you can't even be a white dune. But listen, your private life's your own. Scotty, any ideas how to get rid of wasps' nests? Well, they're known as bikes. Of course. And, um, you know, you want to get rid of it humanely. The Kunsel will get rid of it. I remember seeing an advert and it said wasps got rid of from £20. And I thought, well, we've got thousands of wasps. That would clean us out. Uh, hi, Scotty, says Robbie Kusar. Alistair Livingston watching. Apart from you, Scotty, who is or was your favourite presenter? Well, obviously, I'm my favourite presenter, my very favourite. Scotty McClue. And uh, selling it, Scotty McClue, selling it, says Adrian Barry. Absolutely. Tell the world, Adrian, if any of you have got groups with hundreds of people, get this out there right now. So there you are. I need some cold down. It's roasting love. I need a cold sensation. Oh, there you are. Well, I'm pretty cool, but I'll have to keep doing this. I think, ah, goodness sake. I'll have to, I'll have to ring myself out. So there we are. Uh, Dean Thompson's watching. What, what trumpet, Egypt, poor wee queen. Sammy, not at all. I thought Trump was very good. And the Queen's so skilled. I'm not sure why people knock the Queen. And one or two half-witted idiots who know nothing about royalty on with their petty wee jealousies. Oh, she's got money and she lives in a big house when people are starving. That's nothing to do it. If the Queen got, um, uh, got, got demoted tonight or something, if we decided to move ahead without Her Majesty the Queen... The poor would still be there. The starving would still be there. That's political. That's your Theresa May you talk to about that. Not Her Majesty the Queen. 
Shared, 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 says so Andy here. So there we are, ringing it out. So please, can I beg of you, stop knocking the royal family. They're doing a wonderful, wonderful job. They've got a wee flat in all these big hoosies. The big hoosies belong to us. So there you are. Wasps, smoke bombs, or tin of spray. So there you are. I've already got rid of three when cutting the grass. I say, sorry, I'm late, Scotty. I couldn't find your show. I'm here now, Sandy. I doubt you could find yourself to the restroom. You're an awful man. Why don't you do a Hansel and Gretel and leave a wee trail of crumbs to the Scotty McClue show? And then you can join us. No angry faces says Sharice. You're quite right, Sharice. Stop that angry face right away, or we'll have the mirror stick out your house. Right, Andy. Dinky do, says Andy. So there we are. Um, I murdered a fly earlier. Arrest me, says Roy Brownlow. Why did you decide to end another creature's life, Roy Brownlow? That is not good stuff. Um, I hope we'll be upstanding for the Queen at the end of the show. We might just try that, actually. I shall um, hum the national anthem, and you can all get up. Totally agree, Scotty. God save the Queen. Um, I wish a big hoose belonged to me. Sharice, you do not want a big hoose. Scotty McClure has lived in very big hooses. They are a nightmare. And Buckingham Palace, I think, has got 432 rooms. And by the way, for the half-witted idiots, none of these palaces are suited to the homeless. The homeless are very vulnerable. That's why they're homeless. So there you are. And um, they would get lost in a place like that. They would get very distressed. So that's the kind of stuff that's going on. So stop your nonsense. There we are. Anybody knocking the Queen, I'm going to end up blocking them. You know, and using root language as well. That's what I don't like. George Raffles watching. Dinky you do, George? Uh, no, I didn't save the Queen. So she says, well, you can save her now. Scotty, the Pride Parade took sponsorship. Um, he doesn't like them. So there you are, mentioning uh, a very important person. Sandy, um, these parades, sponsorship, good bit of sponsorship. That's what they all need, for goodness sake. What's your thoughts on Donald Trump? Well, I don't think people should have been protesting. I think that made us look very, very petty. So my message to the protesters is, away home. Oh, Scotty, says Sharice. Gordon Sterling is watching. About time too. Good evening, Scotty. How are you? Wave to me, Derek Jimmy Walker. Of course, Derek Jimmy Walker. Wave, 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 wave. Not a problem. And a good man, Scotty, says Stevie Brown. Uh, so there we are. Now, guys, this show is going massive. It will wipe out terrestrial television. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I played the pipe organ last night, and I um, put on my mobile device, and uh, 1,200 of you have seen it. So there you are. I don't save myself. I save the Flower of Scotland. Well, the Flower of Scotland, of course, is not a national anthem. So there you are. You ought to be a Queen Scotty, says Roy Brownlow. Thank you very much, Roy. Liz Jenkins McIntyre is watching Dinky Do. Come and see Scotty McClure. So there you are. You wait. This will go live on mainstream television, guys. Half an hour on a Friday night. 11 to 11.30, Scotty McClue live, talking to all of you. So there you are, Derek Jimmy Walker's with us. Dinky do Scotty, saw a nice picture of you and Johnny the Bin Man. Andy Hughes, Johnny the Bin Man is such a top man. I always like to go out and get a chat with my bin men. Uh, but I don't want to hold them up. You're one funny man. I stumbled on you, and I am loving it. Dinky do, I stumbled on you, and I'm loving it. Evening, Scotty, what's the topic? Talking about Donald Trump? Talking about Brexit? Talking about the football? Hello, Scotty, how are you tonight? This is Brian. Excuse me a second, folks. Just there. Uh, ah! Oh, the mopping doing goes on, goes on. It's like the fourth road bridge. Painting the fourth road bridge. Keeping Scotty McClue fresh and dry in this weather is the same as painting the fourth, not the road bridge, the rail bridge. Keep having to remember that, the rail bridge. Homeless folk need a break, Scotty. Shocking. We're using food banks, yes. But if you didn't have the Queen, you would still have your food banks because that's your um, that's your, your uh, government that's done that one. I'm going in the bath in a minute, Scotty. So there you are. I'll take you in on the laptop. No, no, don't. No electrical devices near your bath. I don't want you to get a shock. 
So there you are. You don't want a shock jock. Scotty on the telly, we need this dinky do, says James. James, it would be phenomenal, but it's telling the broadcast bosses this. Right, Scotty McClure is one of the few people in the world that can make television and radio work properly, right? They try all these shows, they have all these ideas, they put on lovely, lovely people who are big stars, but nobody wants to talk to them. Everybody wants to talk to Scotty McClure. What's wrong with that? Visit Britain, says the Queen, and if it's not bring any money for the tourists now. This is another thing that we're going, oh, we've paid for the Queen's, um, the Queen's grandson's wedding. They've paid for us 10 times over. Uh, you mop and mop, and then you're as fresh and as pure. Uh, I saw the man he was. After Trump's second term, I say he'd be a good candidate for the UK Prime Minister. I think um, that our First Minister in Scotland, Ms Sturgeon, would make a fabulous UK Prime Minister, but I don't know if she wants to, to run all that. Tell my husband I love him more Billy Hunter. I thought I said Billy Bunter there. Billy Hunter, Sharon. Tell my husband I love him more, says Sharon Hunter. So Billy Hunter said to his wife, Sharon, tell her I love her. I told her that you love her, Billy, and she says she loves you more. Um, who's doing live tonight? Every day. Very true, Scotty, says James Barr. Uh, hi again, Scotty. Good evening, Scotty. <coughs> Neil O'Gormley is watching. Fabulous. Where's my tea? Sip of tea. Seize the day. You'll see that backwards, guys. But it's a quote from Horace, who was uh, one of your uh, original Romans, you know. All roads lead to Rome. Just squeezed a wee Trump out there. So there's a protest. So there you are, 6,000 police officers, a dozen something, I don't know what that was about. The talk about Prince Harry's wedding. Uh, he paid for that fighting in Afghanistan, says Robert Johnson. Good for you, Robert. Very fair point. Uh, Bunter is a DJ, says um, Charisse. Uh, went on a boat trip from South Queen's Ferry. So there we are. Lovely, lovely. It's going up so quick, guys. I can't get the whole message in. No way, Scotty. Queen's a waste of taxpayers' money. James Adamson, you're one of the ones who doesn't understand how all this works. No waste of taxpayers' money. We give the Queen about 62 pence a year from us, right? 62 pence a year. James Allison, you'd spend that on the penny tree down at your local news agents. So stop your nonsense. Right, so there you are. And the other thing is that they bring in billions in trade deals and tourism. If the Queen signs something, woo, money time for the country. So don't start your nonsense. Uh, oh, so Charisse. So there we are. Theresa May and State visits a Royals in Revenue. What was that one? I missed that one, actually. That looked like a good one. Send me that one through again. Copy and paste for McClue. Right, guys, it's share time. Come on. Share, 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 share. Scotty, are you being for real? I am, Charisse. Scotty McClue is an expert on the monarchy, and I will defend the monarchy. The Queen is the Queen of all of us. So there we are, regardless of what your background, creed, colour, anything is. She is our sovereign lady. So there you are. I am the heir of Robert Pringle of Stitch Hill. So there you are. I don't know. My jumper is a Pringle, so I don't know if you're related to that. Oh, says Sharice. So there you are. Sharice, I'm just telling you straight. Andy loves the Queen, says Sharice. Well, yes, of course, everybody loves the Queen. I've never met anybody who's intelligent who's actually anti the Queen. The anthem goes, God save the Queen. It does, says Steve. You're quite right. Two seconds, everybody. Share, 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 mop doing time. Woo! There you are. It's flowing out of us here. Uh, the Royal Family are great role models for all the charity, what they do, they do. I mean, the Queen is patron of so many charities. You've got the Prince's Trust, 
The uh, Prince Charles employs 167 people out his back pocket. Uh, Margaret Ann Kessley. Margaret Ann Dinky Doo, Gary Frank Crossley Dinky Doo. You're all watching Scotty McClue on a Sunday night live on Facebook Live. Uh, she's a scutter. Are you for independence? Yes, I am. Uh, we can't have independence without the Queen coming with us, though. So there we are. Remember, it's nothing to do with the crowns. It's to do with the parliaments. Sharing is caring. Uh, no flower of Scotland. Oh, no flower of Scotland. Come on, she's yes to flower of Scotland. Uh, 62p for the whole royal family, Scotty. Value for money or what? Fantastic value for money. Tourism and events pay for our royals and revenue alone. Would these people have Theresa May on state visits instead of our monarchs? No, thank you. Did you see Mrs. May curtsying to the Queen? I actually thought she was helping her up because she's got a bad leg. So there we are. Who's the only man to serve two non-consecutive terms as President of the United States? Good question. So there we are. I've got an idea, but I'm going to put it out to the globe. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody, that's by Queen, Sir George Raffin. Yes, you're quite right, George. No flies on you. Next month sees the final gigs in their 40-year career for Run Rig at Stirling. Over two days, this band have done so much for Scotland and music all over the world. They have indeed fantastic stuff. And I used to work with the guys from Run Rig. Evening, Scotty. Hope you're well, big man. Flower of Scotland's a funeral dirge. No, no, Flower of Scotland was um, written by the wonderful Roy Williamson, right? He was an OG, an old Gordonstonian. He went to Gordonstone School up in uh, in Murrayshire. And um, him and uh, Ronnie Brown were the Corries. They used to be the Corrie Folk Trio and Paddy Bell. And uh, they were the Corries, and I loved them. They were absolutely outstanding. Run, Rig, here we come. Beat the drums. Loch Lomond. Uh, Dinky Doo, Scotty. Happy Sunday. Viva la France. And two sugars, please. Hi, Eddie. When are you getting time off to come to Scotland, says Billy Hunter. Stephen Mooney's watching. Dinky Doo, Stephen. Catherine Murray has commented on Scotty McClue tonight. Now, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue Live and Facebook Live just for you saying Dinky Doo. Can we have another share, please? Everybody, share, 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 share. Tell 10 to tell 10. Gone running, I get annoyed when the London media talk about the Queen of England. She's the Queen of the United Kingdom. Gordon Roddick, you're 100% correct as you are, sir. So there you are. She's the Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Wonderful stuff. Unfortunately, we charitize them, Scotty. I know you're for Indy, but we'll leave it at that. No, don't leave it at that because we can't have Indy without the royal assent. So we have to say to the Queen, look, we're going for independence. Uh, you are absolutely 100% coming with us. And uh, we would love to welcome you to Scotland. And don't worry about the dafties who don't understand. These people, anybody who's anti the Queen, I wouldn't trust them to sit the right way round on the lavatory. Uh, once met the Queen in Madame Tussauds, says David Rendell. Absolutely. Uh, I've, I've been in there. I think I met the Beatles there as well. Wet, wet, wet rules. I love wet, wet, wet. They are fantastic. And um, always remember somebody asking uh, Marty when they were interviewing Wet, Wet, Wet live on a big radio station. And they thought they'd be funny and said, have you ever heard of Scotty McClure? And uh, Marty apparently allegedly says, oh, the big man down with you, is he? Send him our regards. Uh, name that tune. Are you going to tell us, says Susan Forrest? I'm not going to tell you. Ask the Greeks, Scotty, says Ian Johnson. Beware of the Greeks. Greeks bearing gifts. The only flag not in the UK flag is the Welsh one. That's, I think, because Wales is not a country, it's a principality. Eddie Kennedy, this man's so funny, you'll understand him easier than me, says Billy Hunter. Billy, you are an absolute cinch to understand. You have clarity itself. Uh, Scotty, do you ken Steve? Uh, says Sammy Stewart. I ken everyone. Okay, everyone, let's get Scotty shared. Dinky doo. Off we go. Come on, guys, get these numbers up. Big style. I am not joking. Right, here we go. Oh, Carol. Dearie me. 
in the name of the wee man. The heat in this country. Not that I'm complaining. It's wonderful. Uh, Finley Patterson's watching. Thank you, do You dodged it. Says Ian Johnson, I have never dodged anything in my life. Maybe the odd custard pie. I can, I can, I can, I can, can. Says Sharice, I can a boy who can's a boy who can's a boy who can's you. Uh, Jason Douglas is watching. You're off your head, says Jim Scott. Jim Scott, that is not a suitable diagnosis. Now, come on. Uh, Shards says Sharice, love all around us. My wedding song 20 years ago, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Absolutely, Derek Jimmy Walker. I was at a wedding one day and the band were so bad the waiter dropped a tray and everybody got up and danced. Scotty, I've got Eddie Kennedy from Halifax listening. Thank you to get them all listening in Halifax. The last tango. This is the first tango in Halifax. No, it can snow for me, says Sharice. It's snow for you. Uh, we're all on this island when it comes to the Queen. Absolutely. I mean, I asked somebody the other day, what religion is the Pope? So there we are. So put it down. What religion do you think the Pope is? Uh, you're a bit warm, Scotty. Oh, absolutely roasting. Mind you, I'm in a very, very hot country, I have to say. So there you are. I'm at an undisclosed location. You'll be able to tell from my background that I am not a, at McClure Towers. The Corrie's Bonnie Dundee. Uh, the, the Lord's a convention up Claver House book. Wonderful. Hi, Halifax. So there you go. A uh, man, man, called you Ken, Ken. I need snow, says Sharice. No, you don't, Sharice. If you had snow, you would be complaining and complaining and complaining. I know you. So there you are. My man kens you, says Sammy. Everybody kens me. Uh, I remember once being in a meeting and somebody said, well, gentlemen, if you could put down a bit of background to give us an idea of what you're talking about. And I said, do you want something from me? He went, no, everybody knows you. So there you go. Uh, German, says Rab, I didn't know you were. Rab, how interesting. I had you down as a Scotsman. I can what I'm saying, can like I, I can, can, Sharice. So there you are. But please never, ever, ever knock the Queen or think it's anything to do with independence. If the Pope is a true, I missed that there. You'll have to come on and tell me more, see more. So there we are. We missed your message. I need snow. I need snow. Sharice, you're not getting snow. All right, so stop it. Right. Oh, gee. Ah. How many times is that? We've had to get the clammy shammy out. Uh, so there we are. You're watching Scotty McClure, guys. If you've just joined us, wherever you are in the world, do not panic. You're watching the world's number one broadcaster, the world's top broadcaster, and the first lord of the internet. And we are live big style. This is the new television. If they don't put Scotty McClure on, no matter what religion the Pope is, Scotty, come on, religion, middle of the road. No, no, come on, tell me what religion you think the Pope is. Say, ah, Paul Francis Carroll, did you see me at a massive cathedral organ last night? So there you are, massive. Uh, so there we go. Get this man into government. That's me. Yes, I should be sitting there in the cabinet sorting out the wheat from the chaff. So they are and taking no prisoners. Uh, although, as you know, Scotty McClure always lets his prisoners go. Uh, why do we British moan about the weather? There's nothing else to talk about, Steve. We've lost our sociability. So there we are. Shake a snow globe, Sharice. Uh, Tony Mac, dinky do. Hello, Labrador. That's the dog coming to see me. Roman Catholic, says Liz Boyd. Roman Catholic, says Ian Hale. So there you are. Um, both of you, uh, no, that is not the Pope's religion. I can tell you that right now. Yes, the Pope's religion is not Roman Catholic. All right. So there you are. Uh, anybody else know the Pope's religion? Uh, Sammy Stewart saying, is he Buddhist? No, he's not Buddhist. Alan Brown's watching. How fantastic. Dinky do the wonderful Alan Brown in Washington, D.C. Uh, the Pope should be Je Jewish, Scotty, because Jesus was. Yes, but Jesus changed to his own religion. That's why the cowards 
The cowards put him to death. Scotty for PM. It's hot, 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 pal. Storms out. Alan Brown says, Dinky do. Dinky do to you, Alan Brown, and to your lovely family in Washington, D.C., just along the road from the White House there. Uh, Eddie Kennedy, this guy's nuts. You should have heard him years ago. The Pope is Scottish, says Sharice. No, Pope's not Scottish. Pope Francis is not Scottish. What we're talking about tonight, says George Mullen. What have I missed, says Alan Brown? Everything. Scotty for King. Yes, the King of Scotland. Hindu, says Rab. No, no, Rab. The Pope is not a Hindu. OMG, is he Buddhist? No, he's not Buddhist. So there you are. But his religion is not Roman Catholic. Is he Muslim? Says Eddie Doby Sr. No, he's not. So they are. The Pope is a Pfeiffer. Says Sharif. No, he's not a Pfeiffer. We haven't had a Fife Pope. Uh, you're some piano player, Scotty. Uh, when are we getting the black bear? Is he a Jehovah's Witness? Says James Brown. No, he's not a Jehovah's Witness. So there you are. That's tonight's big question. What religion is the Pope? Right? I've had two answers here. Roman Catholic. That is not his religion. No, sorry to tell you. So there you are. Right, uh, come on, come and tell us. Uh, you're watching Scotty McClue, if you've just joined us, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. We're going to get the telephones back soon, guys. Is it something to do with Jesuits, says Alan Brown? No, no, but very, very good question, Alan. I take that on board. Is he just Catholic and not Roman, says George Mullen? Very interesting, George Mullen, because, of course, what does the word Catholic mean. Yes, the Pope is from Greenock, says Ronnie Stevenson. I wish he was Ronnie Stevenson. Greenock should be the financial capital of the world. The government owe Greenock a huge debt of gratitude and a huge debt of money because they took the shipyards off them for pennies. So money needs to flow back in. Back to Scott Grant says he's Christian. Yes, Scott Grant. There's somebody saying atheist. The spell to A-I-T-H-I-E-S-T, -E atheist. Yes, the Pope is Christian. That's the Pope's religion. His denomination is Roman Catholic. Have we got that? I've an awful job informing, educating, and entertaining not just one country, but every country in the world. Hi, Scotty, I'm back from my holidays. So there you are. You're very dark in the background. No, no, I'm in a secret location. So there we are. We don't put on the lights. Is he Catholic Church, says Steve Burrows? Yes, he's Catholic Church. And the letters are C, denote Roman Church. They don't denote Roman Catholic. So there you are, Roman Church, the Church of Rome. The Pope through the Rat, the Ratloch, says Sammy Stewart. No, he's not through the Ratloch. But there you are, but you feel that God is present in the Ratloch. The Ratloch is touched by the hand of God. So there you are. He's just a Christian, says George Mullen. Not just. He's a Christian. You, you can't just be a Christian. Christianity is one of the world's great religions. It's very, very big. Uh, so he's in the bunker, says Sharice. Jesus was a socialist, says Greg MacArthur. Yes, I would have said he probably was, to be quite honest. I certainly don't think he was a Tory. Uh, so there we are. Um, a Jesuit says, come back, come back. No, no, not a Jesuit. Uh, so there we are. Um, a Christian. All right, have we sorted that out? Cheers for that. I'll sleep easy the night, says Shammy Stewart. So there you are, because she knows that the Ratloch has been touched by the hand of God. Excuse me, personal care. Quick mop down, a swatch of Scotty McClue's Crippen with the clammy chamois on a summer's evening live on the telly. Excellent. Now, guys, I'd have to do this if we were live on a big television company, if we were live for ITV or for BBC Television or for ABC Network. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter we'd still have to have the clammy chamois because McClue is one hot cookie. Um, he's a Jesuit, is he not, says Ronnie Stevenson? Well, he may well be, yes, now that you mention it, Ronnie, um, as a, a sect of the Catholic Church, he may well be a Jesuit, yes. I hadn't checked that up, so you're ahead of me, a wise, wise man. But he is a Christian. That is his religion and his denomination, of course, 
is Roman Catholic. The Pope had a stall in the salt market in days gone by. So I'm, no, he did not. Uh, you need some snow, Scotty. You wouldn't need that. To, no, 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 because then people put the heat on. Sure is. Um, Protestants are just protesting Catholics. Yes, they are Protestants. So there you are. A friend of mine had to uh, get a candle lit service going once, and they couldn't get candles big enough, so they went along to the chapel and asked if uh, the priest would mind um, lending them some, some uh, candles. And they had lovely, lovely big mass candles. And, of course, um, when they said, could we give you a donation, he said, you take those as a present to the breakaway, brethren. <laughs> I think that's gorgeous. Jesus was a clever man. Who else could turn water into wine? We need him back. Weems Bay Caravans, says James Bauer. What a wonderful place that is, James. Get a fan for the bunker. No, 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 no. I can't let anybody know I'm here. Religion's a funny thing, Scotty. Studied it for years. Don't doubt he lived, but doubt anything happened that's written in the Bible. No, I think it did, Stephen. I think absolutely. The Bible's a fabulous code for living. So there you are, whether or not you actually believe. But the final bit, you're always going to make a leap of faith. So there you are. Uh, is religion's wraith rovers? So there will be dancing in the streets of wraith tonight. So there we are. Is the Pope Argentini, Argentine, Scotty? Argentinian. Uh, certainly South America, yes. Uh, so there you are. What's the difference between Catholic and Roman Catholic? Well, everyone is Catholic, Tony Mac, right? Because everybody is a universalist uh, from that point of view. So everybody is Catholic. If you're Roman Catholic, then you pay homage to the Church of Rome, the Roman Church, which we all had, of course, St. Giles was Roman Catholic, Glasgow Cathedral, St. Mungo's, Roman Catholic, Westminster Abbey, St. Peter's, Roman Catholic. So there you are, Stephen Burrow. We would all be more of alcoholics, says Billy Hunter. I had to do a eulogy for a friend. Hardest thing I've done, says Sammy Stewart. What a beautiful thing to do, though, Sammy. Say a few words for a friend. So they are. Public speaking is very, very hard. That's why Scotty McClue gets asked to do so many public speeches. Lang tune the neck, can, can, can. The lang tune kirkkoddy. I'm no a Catholic, says Sharice. That's all fine, Sharice. Please don't worry about it. So there you are. You don't have to be. Now. Ah. Right. I have no religion, says Sharice. No, that's absolutely fine, Sharice. You know, a guy once told me, I said, um, are you Catholic? And they said to me, no, I'm an atheist, for God's sake. So there you are. Um, happy 40th, Paul. Lots of love, free Alba, says Sammy Stewart. Dinky doo. Guys, if you've just joined me, you're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching now. I'm just thinking, two seconds here, I need to check that I haven't got a clue what the time is. And of course, because I am the output, we're not meeting the network. Um, I'm not Catholic. You said we all are. No, we all are. Everybody is Catholic because you are a universalist. That's what it means. So it doesn't always have the religious connotation. So there you are. So so everybody is Catholic with a small C. Are you with me? And then you have the world's great religions that kick in. Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism. Yes, all that. Uh, so there you are. 943, says Thomas. Thanks, Thomas. Uh, I just had, so I've, I've got, I've managed to locate a clock on another device here. Um, share, says Sharice. Excellent. Share, 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 share. Uh, I think the Pope came from a poor background and tries to help the poor. Well, the Pope is a priest. A friend of mine met him and said, what do I call you? He said, call me Father, because I'm a priest. So there you are. Um, Steve Burrow, Celtic Park, uh, scaffolding in the making. What are you on about, Billy? I'm Sharice, uh, Sharice. We know that, Sharice. 
We've actually met you before. Do not panic. You're not losing your identity. <laughs> not live with the Scotty McLean Show. I can tell you that for nothing. If you've just joined us, folks, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time for another share. So there we are. Get sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing. All right. Share, 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 share. And if you can share to some big groups, that's great. Because I'm not in my normal location, I don't have the sharing capacity with all the other devices round about me. I'm just going to try a little experiment, guys. If I go dark, don't panic. I've got some new lighting, and I'm wondering if I could get it a little bit brighter. How's that? Is that too dark? So there you are. Does that look too dark to you? Or can you see me better when I'm like that? Or how is that? Or like that? I feel like an optician. Or like that? 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 Is that better? So there we are. Tell me what you think. Okay, there we are. Religion, excuse to commit terrible acts, Holocaust, wars, not all wars are due to religion, many are. No, 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 Stephen, we're mouth. Wrong, 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 wrong. Religion has never, ever, ever caused a problem. Never, ever, ever caused a problem. What causes the problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding of religion. Put the light on. I've only got 500 friends, as Derek Jimmy Walker. Don't you worry about that. That will increase. That's it, says Sharice. What, this one here, the present one. They're all scary. <clears throat> Seize the day, guys. Now, um, that's it like that. Number two's better. There we are. Oh, number two's always excellent. That one. Or better like that, or like that, or like that, or like that. What else have we got? I've got something else here. Hang on. How's that? Is that any better? Right. So there we are. That's cool, says James. Good. Good lighting. And believe it or not, I'm not losing as much water flowing out of me. Just put the big light on, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. I can he put on the big light, Steve. Although I do have another light there I might try. Uh, well, a country proud done Croatia for outing England. So you are George Mullen. Vive la France. Je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite. But uh, si tu parles lentement, peut-être je comprends. Vive la France. And yesterday was a very important date. Yesterday was le 14 juillet. Who can tell me what happened on le 14 juillet? Uh, this is like a Scottish eye test, Scotty, I know. Better like that or like that. I used to actually go out with an optician. She was lovely. But she would say to me on a Saturday, is it better like that or is it better like that? And I would say again, <laughs> Croatia were robbed. He's in the bunker, so she uh, Send you to the Yank, Scotty, for a mop doon. So there we are. Yeah, I'm just about to have another mop doon, actually. So don't panic. Right. Oh, jeez. Can we get sharing again, please, guys? Pay the lucky bill. No, Sammy, you don't understand. I'm broadcasting from an undisclosed secret location. Right? I can't give stuff away. The Crusades were a lack of understanding. Correct. Carpe diem, says Julianne Scott down in Wales. Now, Julianne, uh, was it Bastille Day, says Tony Mac? It was Tony Mac. Very well done. The 14th of July, le 14 juillet. Très bien, says Sammy. Absolutely. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Wee oui, wee, oui, madam. Now, uh, what I would like you to do, guys, is share and share and share and share and share. Share and share and share and share and share. How many tools do you go through, says Sharice? Tools, uh, towels, I think you're meaning. So there we are. Uh, Greg MacArthur, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you live on Scotty McClue. This is going very, very big, guys. You will see this 
on national television or these companies will be the ones going under and Scotty McClure will flourish. Uh, what about the church of Scotty? So there you are. Do, 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 do. Uh, so there we are. Get the man back. How's the dog doing, Scott? He's doing very well. He's 11 years and nine months. And he had a wee fibrocartilage and assembleism, as you know. The secret garden, wee wee share. Oh, sorry, Wi-Fi. So there we are. I thought you said, have you got a Wi-Fi? Have you got Wi-Fi? Uh, are you in the coal house? Says Alistair King. No, I'm not broadcasting. I'm more likely to be in the dog house. So there you are, talking to you lot on a Sunday night for an hour. Uh, tools, I'm a fiver tools, towel, thanks Ken, yes, a towel, absolutely, now, a fiver, now, wait till I tell you what's happening guys, last night I was at the pipe organ, Great Cathedral Pipe Organ, and I played a tune and you have to name that tune, you'll see it on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, go and subscribe to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, and if you've got a Twitter account, and you're not following Scotty McClue, then what are you doing with that account? Come on, sensible eyes up. It's 9.50, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. So there you are. I know we'll have to go in, uh, in five minutes, Tom. Thanks very much for that. Very much appreciated. What a fabulous show tonight, guys. So there you are. Gordon Gilmer, Sprott, Dinky Doo, Heiko Smith. Lovely to have you with us, and we can give you both... A wave and a wave. There you are. That's you had a wave and you can wave back. Now, during the week, can every single one of you share, 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 share. I know you get a lot of stuff through from Scotty McClue saying dinky doo to every single one of you, but that is for you. So I don't want you doing attitude. I don't want you going, <sighs> all that stuff, okay? Grow up time. Uh, you're welcome, pal, says Thomas, not at all. Ken Ken, says Shammy. Now, um, also, uh, thank you for discussing the Pope's religion. So there you are. The kids all say hello, says Alistair King. Hello to the kids. Hello to the King kids. Dinky do, Alistair. Thank you to every single one of you who put a pound or five pounds, ten pounds, twenty pounds, fifty pounds into Scotty McClue's PayPal. Go to scotty hyphen McClue dot com you'll see it on the title and um, you'll see paypal there 100 percent secure get your card stick in a pound or two it all helps to go to the show fantastic maria thompson dinky do as you know guys i've spent thousands upon thousands on scottish radio and uh, and radio all over the world actually another hour gone quick says steve burrows steve burrows it just flies time flies when you're enjoying yourself good night pal we'll see you next sunday have a good week liz boyd good night to all the kids says sharice dinky do scotty says sean moore fantastic hi scotty i'm loving tonight's broadcast thank you says heiko smith heiko smith thank you fantastic lovely to be doing the broadcast Ten thousand pounds in says sharice sharice what a honey you are time for a national anthem so uh, so there we are and uh, one king and um, two bennett's mate so there we are fantastic uh, hi scotty sorry i'm late I think he's talking about pride and prejudice there. Uh, yes, it definitely does, Scotty. It just flies in. But if you're having a nice time, it does fly in. And you'll be amazed at what you've all learned from me tonight. Information, education, and entertainment. You can't say fairer than that unless you can't pronounce your Fs or your THs. What's your total new? Come on, folks. Hands in your pockets. Absolutely, because I can use it, guys, to improve the equipment. You'll already have seen a big improvement on the transmission standards of the program and it's just going to get bigger and bigger because i'm going to be talking to a big production company within the next few weeks and they're very excited about the idea of having scotty mcclure nine hours scotty take care of god bless says tony mac and yourself tony look after yourself you're a very fine broadcaster and an even finer man uh, have a great week scotty says sammy use the take the high road theme as the national anthem says ian hales oh <laughs> I don't want the seats banging up. So there we are. Um, I might play it on the pipes. 
So there we are. Um, yes, that might be an idea. If we've got to improvise the national anthem, I could whistle it, but we could play it in the pipes. I may play it on the pipe organ for you during the week. Mike McCabe's watching Dinky Doo. Ask ScottyMcClue.com. Well, the Scotty-McClue.com, Sharice, as you know, because you visited it, and you were one of the ones who was very generously pop something into PayPal. But my feeling is if we can all stick a fiver in, I can get moving forward. Um, English Willie says England's fourth place was fantastic. Uh, Bob Riley Dowd Sr. I thought you were calling yourself Robert Riley Dowd Sr. That's a good name. Can we have the squeeze box? Says Alistair King. Alistair, I don't have the squeeze box tonight because I'm broadcasting from an undisclosed secret location. They are till we meet again, Scotty Pal. Respect and God bless. What's the time? Yes, right. What we'll do is um, I'll play you the national anthem on my imaginary bagpipes. So it goes well in the pipes. Um, we'll have it tuned up. <coughs> I have to have a wee a sip of tea. Oh, that's lovely. I got that cup in Ireland right down the bottom at Clonakilty. How hard does the chant of Scotty? That's a very personal question. Um, it is quite difficult. I like the bonnet, old pal, says Jerry McGurk. Thanks, Jerry. It's one of my finest bonnets. I got this one in um, Ilkley in Yorkshire. Uh, Scotty, take the tie and the bonnet off, man. We know you like to keep standards, but I think we'll forgive you in the heat. No, no, we must keep standards up. Oh, our guardsmen and the tripping of the colour in these um, scarlet tunics. They are rushing. Take care, big chap. Damn, says Alistair King. No star, Scotty, says Julianne Scott. Julianne Scott, you'll find a treat on the pipe organ from me, Scotty McClue. So no star to you and yucky da tomorrow, I say. Shh, secret bunker. Right, um, national anthem in the pipes. And um. He hum da he de yum di da he da da he da ma he da he he just chilling up guys he 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 hum hey da he he hey he hum da he hum di di he da he di he dum badi da he di um da he di um badi da he di da he di um da he li di 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 dum dum di la ya di ya di ya dum dum di la i dum da i da di he dum da di da he di 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 dum badi he um da there we are, and everybody can stand up for that, regardless of your race, your religion, your creed, your colour, your state of mind. Up you get for Our Majesty the Queen. Nivax Vitek is watching. Give him a wave. Dinky doo. It's time, Scotty McClure. Wizzy here. Who have a deck? Oh no, we've still got a couple of minutes. So there we are. So uh, the World Talk in Qatar. Um, we are in the World Wildlife Fund, says Sharice. Fantastic. Squeeze it out, says Shami. I did. I squeezed out the national anthem on my imaginary bagpipes. And I thought it was very good and very respectful. And I tuned up at the beginning and tuned off at the end. So you can't beat that. Right, Scotty McClure saying dinky doo to every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching tonight. What a fantastic program has been, quite outstanding. Look on Scotty McClure's Facebook. Follow me. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to me on the, and don't, don't blank all this. Don't go, oh, that's I, we know all that. No, don't. Go and subscribe on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel because it's fantastic. Join us every Sunday night at nine o'clock sharp, live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Remember, I am not joking when I say I'm the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Your wee queen would be proud of you. So there you are, 10, 10, says Sharice. And if you can stick a fiver into Scotty McClure's PayPal account, you'll see it on the website, 
www.scotty-mcclue.com. I've played a piano tune for you this afternoon. You'll see that on Scotty McClue's Facebook page as well. You'll see uh, Pat Kane's article from The Guardian. It's some time ago. But as he says, Scotty McClue makes... Uh, talk radio work in Scotland. There are talk radio stations throughout the country and they're not doing great business because they're not doing the right approach. If you had Scotty McClure on there, we would be cleaning up. Big, huge hugs all round, peeps. Have a great week. Um, Sharp, you were late the night. So she, yes, absolutely. Julianne Scott, fantastic stuff. I should be away now, guys, but you're a big audience and you've been tremendous tonight. And please, I beg of you, get sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing. Because once you buy into Scotty McClure, you are on a winner when it comes to information education and entertainment. So there you are. Remember, I've appeared on every big station in this country worth its salt. And um, I shall be doing so again and talking to you then. But I also think there's a massive, massive television market for Scotty McClure. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Mike Williams is watching. Didn't you do? We'll give you a wave. Yes, you were late, says Sharice. You're quite right, Sharice. These people were late. Late, 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 fashionably late, wiping his brow. I wasn't late tonight. I was on time. There's the wonderful Matthew Champney, a top man from Cumbria, from Cumberland, watching. Matthew Champney, I say hi to you and to your wonderful family, your lovely dad, your lovely mum and your lovely brothers and sister. Mwah. So there you go. Uh, Phil Simes watching Dinky Do. Lovely to have you. PMSL says, Charisse, well, we don't want to know about that. Your private life is your own. So there you are. You don't have to share that with the rest of not just one nation, but every single nation across the world and throughout the world. Lots and lots to talk about. Next week, we'll have to say Dinky Do. Goodbye, farewell, cheerio. The sun has gone to bed. Right? And so must I. I'll see you, my darlings. Thank you. I'll sing you the song. Have a lovely, lovely week. Take care of your dear selves. Love being you. Remember, it's a fantastic thing to be. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of we. Tarzan, au revoir, and a cheerio. The wonderful Mike Henfield, one of this country's finest journalists and great radio chief executives, is watching right now. And I say to you, Mike Henfield, thank you, thank you, thank you, because you were responsible for the start of Scotty McClure 26 years ago last week. We are now in our 27th year. Dinky do. Ta-la-las. <laughs>